Hey, this is Pete Mazio from TenetiaFitness.net and welcome back to my podcast. Uh, for those of you who have tuned in before or seen some of my other videos, I've uh, been a big fan of making my own medicine balls. Over here you can see a 25 pounder and a 10 pound that I've made before. My old plans required uh, using a carpenter's knife, making a bee in, putting the funnel in and filling up with sand and then putting a patch over the top, duct taping it, making it all uh, you know, nice and secure. Although, those type of medicine balls I did mostly for weight work as opposed to slamming. I found uh, some plans on the website on the internet by uh, Pierre Auguet about making a medicine ball slammer. So the idea behind this is to take a basketball and uh, using a tire plug kit, making a smaller hole in it and then plugging it with a tire patch so you can fill it up with air again and then using it for slams. Personally, I love medicine ball slams. I think they're a great exercise, great for the core, uh, get a little back and, by, uh, back and chest work as well. So I used a little bit of thicker basketball this time, and I'm gonna try to follow these plants and see how we can do with it. So uh, overall time here is uh, projected somewhere around two hours to make medicine ball, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, trying to make about a 15 pounder, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So. Basically, according to the plans here, we're going to use a uh, tire plug kit you can pick up at uh, one of the uh, typical uh, like Walmarts uh, or an auto parts store. So we got a tire plug kit, we got some shoe goo to seal it afterwards, and uh, again a basketball. We're using some uh, power lock jointing sand. Uh, typically, uh, my regular medicine balls, I'll use play sand. They got some bigger stones in them since we're going through a much smaller hole on this medicine ball. The jointing sand is a lot more fine. It's what they use for the paper patios in between the, uh, the stones. So a little bit more expensive, but again, hopefully it'll be well worth it. Uh, because we're going through a smaller hole, I made another little funnel here out of a three-in-one can of oil, hollowed it out a little bit, and uh, we're gonna try to use that to fill up the sand. So following the procedures here, I'm gonna uh, take a moment here. I'm gonna take all my sand, pour it in the bucket to make it easier to fill up. And I'll uh, open up these kits here just so uh, you don't have to see me do that. Be right back. Okay, we got uh, we got everything opened up here, ready to give it a shot. So I got my uh, basically my hole maker here from the tire patch uh, tire repair kit, and uh, basically uh, the plans require making two holes: one for so that air can escape while you're filling up with sand, and one for the funnel to put the sand in. So I'm going to jam this into my basketball. Make a nice hole, clean it up a little bit, one on the other side, all right, I think that should do it. So now I'm going to take my funnel, put it in one of the holes, all right, well I made the, uh, the hole and got the funnel in finally. I tell you, that wasn't uh, the easiest thing in the world. It probably took me a good five or ten minutes to wedge this uh, funnel into the little hole. So, but again, hopefully it'll work. I uh, took a bathroom scale here because I want to make my ball about 15 pounds. And uh, now that I got the funnel in here, I'm just going to take a little cup and start uh, pouring my sand in the funnel. So, from what I understand, this is going to take a good long time. So, instead of you uh, watching me pour this sand in, I'm going to cut and uh, come right back. I'll let you know uh, what the elapsed time is on the sand fill. Well, they said patience is a virtue, but uh, I've been at it for about an hour now, and my medicine ball's about nine pounds. So again, I want to make it about 15, so I've got some time to go. I decided to swap out my bathroom scale. I got this little fish scale, and uh, I'm reading uh, nine pounds, 10 ounces. So. That's at the one hour mark. I'm gonna keep on filling in and I'll uh, come back. Uh, about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, I was able to get this ball up to 15 pounds. So now I'm ready to plug the holes. So I'm gonna take my, uh, take my funnel out. I uh, took the tire patch kit, got one of the uh, patches, cut it with rubber cement, stick it down in the hole. Okay. So I'm going to patch the other hole and uh, like I said, rather than uh, waiting for all that time, I'll come back as soon as I uh, have both holes patched. 
All right, I just put my two plugs in and uh, just cutting off the excess here. Cutting off the rest of the plugs. As with some tires, a lot of times we'll just uh, burn down the nub here. The uh, patches flame pretty good and uh, helps to melt it down lower to the rubber. Once uh, I do that, get that burned down a little bit. And I'm just going to smear it flat and put a little shoe goo on it. And we'll try this uh, bad boy out and see if we uh, how it works with the slams after I put some air in it. So uh, that's what I got right now. Okay, so my patches are nice and flat. Smear some of the rubber back into the ball. I'm going to put some of the shoe goo on it and uh, put some air in it and we'll be right back. All right, so we have some success. I uh, put the plugs in, as I mentioned, burned them down a little bit to uh, melt the uh, rubber patch, smeared it in nice and flat. Then I used some of the shoe glue over the top. Uh, I waited till the next morning to uh, demonstrate it here, but I've got a nice uh, tight seal. I put some air in it, so it got some uh, nice consistency. So if you look real close here, you can see where I patched it. Not really a lot of uh, blemishes to the uh, contour of the ball. And uh, I like to put a little poundage on the ball so I know what I'm, uh, know what I'm uh, heaving around here. So I'm gonna try some slams out, some uh, maybe some tornado ball, and uh, let's see how it works. Nice, good consistency. Uh, on my website I also have some uh, ideas of how to make a tornado ball, a rope ball, basically just a basketball net you pick up from the store for a couple, couple dollars, use a shoelace, tie one end of it together, and you can just put your medicine ball on the inside. I like to use a piece of rope so that I can uh, pull it together real, get a good hold on it. go rope ball tornado ball let's try it out not bad so overall good consistency nice sturdy finished product with the medicine ball uh, again you got to have some patience because it takes a good Two hours, two fifteen, two and a half. Again, this is a fifteen-pound ball, but a uh, good finished product. I like the way it came out. I like the uh, the feel of the ball, the consistency, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot more durable than uh, the previous ones I made. So, thanks for tuning into the podcast. If you feel like taking a whack at it, good luck. Otherwise, uh, fifteen-pound ball in the store is probably good fifty, sixty dollars. So. This one total cost, I'm thinking uh, probably about 15, so 10, 15 dollars for uh, the supplies needed for the medicine ball. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next time.